don't lag. Please don't lag. Okay, good. I pray it's not lagging. Hi, honeys! Welcome to my channel if you're here for the very first time. And for those of you who've been here for like ever and you're always here, yes! Some bananas, some along. Okay, so today I'm gonna tell you something really important. And this is a question I get asked all the time. And please don't ask me this whenever you hear someone. And if you ever watch this video, if you see someone, if you hear someone who actually will speak about me and my accent, please refer them to this video because this is exactly what this video is for. I get it time, I get that data because I want to release this video. Yeah, well, yeah, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so today. Um, obviously I told you I want to tell you guys about my accent and how it came about. Okay, 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 shh, 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 story time, kids. Um, basically what happened was that in the beginning of the, like, beginning of all times, even before I was born, we starting here, right from the beginning, okay. Um, basically what happened was when my mom was, um, a teenager, she used to go over to Whoopi and she used to write over, like, used to write letters to her, right? So when she used to write letters to this lady, the lady never answered. Like, my mom loved Whoopi. And up until one day, like, she decided my, my, like, my mom used to, like, write letters time after time after time. Guys, like, 100 letters, close to 100, she'd write, gee, like, even a 1,000, I'm sure, she reached so letters then were like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Yabo and Jane was one of those. So yeah, okay. And then what happened was, um, one day Whoopi answered and she was like, hi, insert mom's name. I am actually going to come to South Africa and I'm going to shoot a movie called Serafina. Was my mom not happy? <laughs> was my mom not beside herself with joy? I mean... Who writes back, I, I'm coming back to South Africa? A whole whoopee, guys, imagine. So basically then what happened was then she came to South Africa, she started shooting, ooh, Sarafina, Sarafina, and yes, my mom is that old. Yes, my mom is, oh, guys, she's a legend. Okay, so basically now what happened was, um, then she met Whoopi's PA, and then she met, uh, like, through like over time she made whoopi's pa then the pa's friend then the friend made friends with other friends so she my mom just networked her way through okay so then by the time whoopi's friend 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 pa um knew whoever you know she explained the whole story to me i mean i couldn't give two beeps um okay she met her and it was like it was like joy on end so then they became really good friends and then instead of writing to Whoopi now she was writing to this lady well she was writing to both of them honestly but she was writing more to this lady than she was writing i don't know if i'm talking too fast she was writing more to this lady than she was writing to mom Whoopi. okay so then she stopped like kind of stopped because she stopped responding you know after writing a millions of letters but this lady would respond like all the time so then um Whoopi obviously left Long story short, Whoopi left, okay? And then, my mom started talking to Ukeli on the side. Let's call her Umer. This is Maria. Let's call her Maria. Yeah, for the more interesting part of it. She spoke to Maria. Maria was like, okay, um, please can you come over to America? So my mom flew over for the very first time in America. And was she not excited? Maria was a really nice lady. Maria was obviously of color. Okay, and um, she was like to Maria one day, they were having lunch and Maria was like, you know, you've been a very good friend of mine. We've known each other for years now. Let's just say it's years later. Um, and my nails are so disgusting. <laughs> I'll say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. It's an ad break, sorry. And we're back from the ad break. So the lady said to her, um, you know, you've been a really nice friend to me. Um, would you like, if you ever decide that I can tell you're pregnant with, like, baby number 4001, would you like, um, for me to be the guardian of your kids? My mom was like, like what? Yes, I'm in, okay. And bear in mind, my mom was also, like, my mom was also, you could say, adopted by these white people who were, yeah, my mom was adopted by these white people, um, I don't know if they were also from America, but they were white people. And when they moved, they moved to America. So that was also one of the reasons, like, during apartheid, during apartheid times, 
that um my mom was able to kind of like navigate her way through to america and come back when she was still like yeah that small um because one of the reasons was one of those people really liked her you know my mom god was a female woman yeah, well, so long story short now the american lady now became my mom okay how uh like after that conversation that they had my mom and maria maria said that whenever like whenever you give birth to your child the last born or the second last born or whatever when you when you decide you can bring them over i'll pay for everything so umaria brought over she was a family friend to us she was like my auntie that's why i'll refer to her as my american mom as my auntie whatever okay so umaria decided that she was gonna keep me so uh, when i went to america for the first time guys yay uh, long story short i did i i did do my primary school a portion of my primary school in south africa and then i moved to america so but like i didn't i didn't just go to america and i was from like the i was originally a model c student like i was from the model c schools okay so i would actually like if i was south african i'd probably sound like y'all yeah, no man i don't i don't y'all yeah, not i don't do that it's just not nice i i probably have that accent well i did have it to be honest it was there until i moved to america and then that's when everything changed but every time here's 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 now the the twist to this thing every time i'd come back home okay i try I try like talk like this like again like oh no guys I don't know this I like no, 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 but no, no. eventually the sisters was like no you need to make up your mind do you want to be comfortable or do you want to be a people pleaser so I was like okay um I want to be comfortable eventually like it just burst out I was like you know what I've been living with these I've been living with these people for a while and I sound like them. Why do I always have to come home and then try and sound like home people? Why can I not just sound like myself? And for the very first time, like when I came, I'm so sorry, I'm distracted. For the very first time when I came over to South Africa, guys, like I, I, I just like, I released my outer self. I was like, hi mom, how you been? Cause in America, they don't say how you, how you doing. I mean, they say how you doing, but they don't say how are you? You know, they're like, how you been? You know, so I was like, hi, mom, how you been? Oh, my God, it's been such a long while. So my mom was like, hi, mom. Like, she was shocked self because every time I used to come home, I'd say, hi, mom. You know, like, yo, everything is so nice. But obviously, like, stuff doesn't work anymore on that side. Like, you know, I used to be that girl. But then I was like, no, I mean, I should be true to myself. Who am I? Like, what do I sound like when, you know, at times I used to slip, I won't lie, I used to slip and be like, um, yeah, girl, I is popping, and I'd be like, pop back into yourself, because we're not trying to get any attention, but then eventually when I got older, I was like, hmm, killings, run your race, because it's not about the others, it's about this other, well, so, I came back, um, and I started speaking like an American, and apparently i won't say i'm, I'm gonna s i started speaking like an american i started sounding people started asking me are you from america and i used to sound like i was american according to others you know i don't hear it you know i don't hear it at all you know i don't know i don't america for what 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 so yeah um, I try, I, I try to sound like myself, I try to be, oh my gellings, I just try to be like a normal kid and people were like, oh yeah, she's like, eventually like, people were like, yeah, she's American. So, that's what happened. And before I actually took like a big move, prior to like, from when I was a kid, we used, I, I used to go to America and I used to come back. So, it wasn't like brand new, but the recognition, like, only when I started living in America, like when I first moved in my teenage years, then it was like, an, oh, you know, Eureka, this is how everything is, kind of moment. Yabo. Um, Yabo means, you see, 
for those of you who don't know what that means. So I actually, like now, that's why I sound like this. And it will change because I live around South Africans. And I am a South African. And I am proud to be a South African. But because of social media, and I am irritating myself, um, people uh, started, you know, I always heard this from people who lived outside of the country who have like African accents mostly, who lived outside of the country and come in, they say, we are nasty to people. You know, South Africans are nasty. I'd be like, would see me like why, why would you <laughs> but when i when i realized like when i moved out and i came in if i if i don't speak like our native tongue to any of our south african people um they give me that snatch look like why do you talk like that some people you know um even think i'm faking it like on social media every time i release a video especially on twitter there are social media bullies that say um, that I fake my accent. I don't understand how I could possibly fake an accent for so long. <laughs> for so long. So freaking long. The legend, guys, like. faking that whole american accent like i'm surprised self like i don't understand how but for me i'll be honest you know um my twangs do change i, I wasn't lying the whole video but i say to be honest i'll be honest frankly <laughs> but god knows what um like honestly my my accent does change time to time only because when i pick up the phone and i'm like yo sup mom my mama be on some, yo, I miss you. La, 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 la. And she starts speaking and like, it, if you're South African, you start speak, you, you'll say she's speaking in cursive, yo. It's like, or not hurling, crunnily, orly, gnarly, orly, also, orly, 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 then I start sounding like, I start sounding a little bit stronger than this, or weaker, or more or less the same. But, you know, people change your accents. Environment is everything. Heredity, absolutely nothing. Not absolutely, but it is like 40% close to the 60% that, you know, but you know what I'm trying to say, basically. And the same way that people from outside of the country feel, it is so painful because people think, oh, um, this girl, Mira Zenziza, she's just, she's all that. She has like a nice, some people, she has a nice accent. Some people, she has a fake accent. <laughs> if I was faking, honey, I would never even try to last as long as I did. Ask anyone who knows when I try to fake a Nigerian accent, what happened? Ask anyone who knows when I try to fake some Indian ass accent, what happened? So I'm not even gonna try and fake because this is me. And if you do not love me or me, I'm still, I'm very much still. Eh, I'll point you to the door. Um, don't come back. Okay, that's how the accent came about. Um, you know, no more questions. I have an aunt, I have a mom who lives abroad and my mom and I are so dearly in love with each other. Like, I kid you not. Um, I call her mom because like, obviously when you grow from teenager to adult, it's, it's a very short time span. It's not like from one to 12 years old, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 is, it's, it's six years you learn to know a person you learn to love them you learn to understand them mom and i you know mom maria and i we get along so well we understand each other i'm so in love with her she's a great person and i love my my original birth mother um i love her so much she's my strength she's my rock she tried everything in her power to give me the best education she tried with all her might to give me everything that i always wanted she put me in the third best 
all girls school in South Africa um, back when I was in high school. She she just gave me she just gave me everything, and I even to be honest, I I'm so grateful because she did not want me at all to have a very strange childhood even though our childhood was rough and that's a story for another day a documentary is coming <laughs> when i'm like rich and famous then the documentary is just gonna air yeah well, that's that's the plan not it's not that's not the time okay sweetheart that is not the time to be telling the people tell the people about your accent okay i'm sorry okay so as i was saying um you know my mom tried the best you know, I went to, I went to, even if I had to go to school in America, I mean, South Africa, I probably sound like, I probably sound like, um, I'm from the UK. Because even when I lived in South Africa, I sounded like I was from the UK. They never, people were like, did you go to a private school or are you from the UK? Because that's one thing that I used to get from people either way. So I'm very humble. I'm grateful for the opportunity. I'm, <laughs> I don't know how to fake an accent if i tried i mean i can i i don't i can fake one but i can't keep one for that long because yeah of course like you guys understand y'all know like what it's like when you try to keep up with something you forget so that it's me that is why like now i feel like i, I need a gold tooth like i feel like saying that it's why um gilly safety so <laughs> I don't know why, but but that's why um that's why I sound the way I sound. And here's another thing, okay. I went to a school in America when I was a teenager, and when I got there, like the first week, I need I need to add this information. Like I just need to add this information so I can end the video. And good night in Jesus' name, Amen. But when I went to school in America, guys, I went at first. I went to like a normal school. Yay! The girls there are the they're like this, like they're strong, like they're hard, like you know, and they're very like they're very they was, but then I was really tiny bodied as I am, as it looks here, I'm tiny bodied, so people I was an easy bully target. So the here's another thing I moved, okay, I moved to another school, another. Like, yeah, I moved to another school, and this one was, like, a preppy kind of school. Like, it was a private school. We used to wear uniform. Um, you know, all these rules and regulations were put into place. I was happy. Don't get me wrong. But, yay! I was also bullied. Why? Because I'm South African, and I had a different accent. And that's when I decided to actually change my accent. To be honest, that's when I was like, no, I need to sound like these people. Because when you go over overseas and you sound out... People ask you more questions and then you come back and then like you still sound out because now you're trying to sound like these people that you lived with and then you come home and you sound like those people you don't live with and then like you know my thing was go to America to your stuff but I got there and I was like go to America get your education and then the accent came so by the time I fit in this side coming back this side trying to speak the American accent, I mean, the South African accent turned out to be American. Most Americans think I'm South African or they know I'm South African or sound South African. But then most of the people who live here say I sound like America. So that, for me, it was like, okay, I give it the app. I give it the app. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Things are very different in America and in South Africa, you know, like... Yeah, the food here is just proper. I'm sorry, America, but I gotta give it to... I gotta hand it to South Africa, y'all. Hi, Rachel. Are you serious? Like, for real, I'm very serious. So, yeah, I talked to myself, and I'm sorry. Um, But this is the end of the video. Um, I don't want it to be any much longer than this. I'm gonna try and edit it, so... Yeah. So, yeah, guys. This is the story of how my accent came along. Oh, I don't know if I finished the story of how I was homeschooled. And then, like, they ch we changed schools because I was being bullied in the prep school as well. And in the prep school, too. Um, in the prep school, um, also what happened was um, I was bullied. So, I moved to become homeschooled. Now, that for me, that was life because I was constantly around my mom. 
24-7-365. But that's the rest of the information. Okay, the story was all over the place. I'm so sorry, but it won't happen like this again. So now you know why I have an accent. And it's not trying to be American. It's not trying to be South African. It's just trying to be me. Because I am probably American South African in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, I don't know why I'm... It's not even a prayer. Like, what What are you saying? Yay! Camera! Hey. My hand is here. Maybe it's that. Yeah, maybe it's the cue to leave because... This ain't never happened. So, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, comment down below what you thought about this. None of it is... Oh, everything about it was 100% true. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you, hopefully, in the next video. And please do explain to pe people... And I'm back against the sun, she said. Please explain to people why I sound like this. It's not because I'm trying to pretend. And, yeah. That is it. That is it. I tried to sum up the story, but it just didn't work. But that is that is why. Um, so yeah, there are more videos every week. I try. I'm not queen consistent, but I do try to put something up. Like at least I handed this one. Yeah. Um, I'm not the give me zero this type. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'll see you guys on social media. Um, follow me on my social medias. Follow me everywhere. And. I think that's the end of my video. Gotta love and leave you. Peace, love, and happiness.